Are you facing the USB device not recognized issue? In this video, you will see fixes for the USB device not recognized error in Windows 10. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. Try common fixes. The USB device not recognized error usually appears when the Windows 10 couldn't identify the device. This means it doesn't have the driver for that device or the driver is outdated. Before trying complex fixes, let's try some common fixes. Most of the time, these common fixes will solve your issue. If you are facing a USB device not recognized issue with a USB mouse, check our dedicated guide on mouse not working. Click the I button or check the description. Use a different port. Try plugging the device into a different port. Sometimes a loose USB port doesn't properly connect and it shows the error, so you can try changing the port to solve the issue. Try restarting your PC. Restarting fixes many Windows 10 issues. If there is some driver installation error, it can be fixed when you restart the machine, so try it. Unplug other components. Other USB components might interfere with a new device, so unplug other USB devices and then try the new one. Update Windows 10. The Windows 10 update not only updates your system, but also the drivers. An outdated system could cause this error, so make sure your Windows 10 is up to date. Let's thank our sponsor Malwarefox for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. Update the drivers. The driver issue is the most common issue with the USB device not recognized error, so you should try updating the drivers. Click on the Start menu and type Device Manager. Open it. And now you will see all the devices listed. The device with a yellow exclamation mark is the one that you need to update. Right click on them and then choose Update Drivers. Now try searching the driver automatically. Most likely this option won't work because if Windows has the driver, it should have already detected the device. So you have to first download the driver for that device. If you know the device's name, you can search for its driver online. However, if you don't know the device name, right-click on the device and choose Properties. Now go to the Events tab and you will find the device ID here. Copy it and then search for it. You will find the device name and its driver. Download the driver, then install it. Windows will recognize the device and it will start working. If it is not working, try updating the drivers for the USB root hub and USB composite device. You need to try updating the driver for every device under the Universal Serial Bus Controllers. You can also visit your manufacturer's website to download the latest drivers for these devices. The USB device not recognized error is mostly due to the driver issue, so you should try updating all these drivers. Uninstall devices. If updating the driver doesn't work, you can uninstall the device. Once you uninstall the device and restart the PC, the Windows will look for the drivers again and it might solve the issue. Open the Device Manager. Right-click on the unrecognized device and choose Uninstall Device. Now click on the Action menu and choose Scan for Hardware Changes. If Windows is not able to detect the device, you can restart the system. Now uninstall the USB root hub and USB composite device also. If you are using a USB mouse and keyboard, it will stop working. In that case, you have to restart Windows using the PC's power button, so make sure you can restart your PC without a keyboard and mouse before uninstalling them. Restart your PC, and Windows will auto-detect the devices and reinstall the drivers. Run a device diagnostic. If the above fixes don't solve your issue, then try running the device diagnostic. Right-click on the Start menu, then select Windows PowerShell Admin. Click Yes in the UAC pop-up. Now type msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic, then press Enter. You will see the dialog. Click on Advanced and make sure Apply Repairs Automatically is selected. Then click Next. It will then take some time to scan the hardware issues. 
If it suggests you install drivers for a device, download the driver from its website and install it. Apply the fixes, then restart your PC. Change USB Power Option Now the next thing you can try is to change the USB Power Option. To do that, click on the Start menu and type Power. Then click on Power and Sleep Settings. Now click on Additional Power Settings from the right side. Now click on the Change Plan Settings of your current power plan. Then click on Change Advanced Power Settings. Now here, locate the USB settings and expand it. You have to disable the USB Selective Suspend setting. Apply and close the window, then check if the USB device is working or not. Try System Restore. If your USB device was working recently and is not working now, you can try restoring it to a previous restore point. To do that, press the Windows plus R button, now type R S T R U I and press Enter. You will see the System Restore Point dialog. Press Enter. Now you select the most recent restore point. You can choose a restore point on which you remember everything on your computer was working correctly. Then press Enter. Press Enter again to confirm the restoration. Seek technical support. Now that you have tried all the fixes, you should consider the possibility of the device being faulty. Try connecting the device to some other computer. If it works on another computer, that means there is some fault with your USB ports. If it doesn't work anywhere, the USB device might be faulty. You should visit the service center and check your device there. In case you're facing all of these issues with a USB flash drive, most likely it's faulty. Because the USB flash drives contain the driver itself, you don't have to download the driver separately. If the device is not recognized, it means it's not getting properly connected, and it might be faulty. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.